Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, uh, along with Steve, 6 7 of the Engage Gamers, and welcome to Amazing Princess Sarah and Boobs. Cause... No, stop, please, it's not about the boobs. It, oh yeah, okay, have you ever seen the rest of the games that these guys made? It's all about the boobs. Uh, was it the, another Kunoichi or something like that is another one of their games, and it's the same thing in that, it's all like ass and tits. Oh <laughs> my I do like to people, and I'd skip the story. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Why did you do this? I. It's not like I tried. So that's our save points. Um, basically, uh, our dad, the king, has been kidnapped, and he's been turned into a child and made to nap and by Lilith, who's a demon McGregor. So we have to go and rescue him from her. And well, your main power is actually picking things up and throwing them. Which is kind of unique, considering she does have a sword, but apparently it's a really crappy sword or something. Uh, hmm. Let me just poke you with a sword here. I'm a lady with big boobs. I'm she has some jiggle to her, though. Yeah, I know. I don't know how this doesn't distract the male demographic from playing all together. That's why they play it. They just play it over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> just for This would this. distract me. I... I've been playing a lot of an MMO lately, and it's like looking at boobs. So I'd be like, "No way! I gotta stop to look at the boobs." You gotta stop to look at them. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's See, that's how it would affect me. Mm. It's like, so I don't know. I kind of got a very Castlevania feel out of this game. It's very gothic in look. And, I don't know, it, it just, I don't know, it feels good to control, like, the controls are, are very nice. The the one thing that's bad in this game I found when I was playing is that, um, is that the camera angles actually fly around in some areas of the game, so, uh, I'm sure I'll have to deal with it again. And, uh, like, and when I say that, Why I mean, like... Why did you get hit with that arrow right there? Sorry. It's not like I tried to, Jesus. <laughs> nice, there's your first level up, but continue. Uh, no, but uh, there's going to be areas where you won't be able to see, I guess, down below where I'm where I'm standing, more or less. And then you have to kind of just do a blind jump, which is kind of bullshit, but whatever. Nobody's going to like blind jumps. I love how those corpses turn into four arrows and then rain down upon your enemies. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's one of those blind falls right there. Well, no, that one's fine, because that's the only place you can go. But when it's like, oh... Here's a pit with some platforms over it, like those fading ones that I had there. But by the way, you can't see where they are, so good luck on landing on one. It's like, wait, what? Let's go down <laughs> the hallway, Stefan. God damn it. Uh, I know, I've, I tried that. You can't go down those, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, uh, the enemies in the game, as you can see, once you actually pick them up and throw them, um, most have unique abilities, like this guy, when you throw his body, it explodes. Because, you know, he's a bamber. Love Amber. Just keeps carrying that bomb on his back, and it's like, it's oh, so, so heavy. I'm going to have to set one down. Oh, it's so heavy. I'm going to put one here. But he just, <laughs> where are they coming from? He just poops it out of his shoulders, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. And apparently, in death, he cradles a bomb in the fetal position. Of course. That's his life force. That bomb is everything to him. You picked him up out of the ether. <laughs> He was gone. How did you do that, <laughs> sir? Um, oh, uh, don't waste his body. What are you doing? I, I, what do you mean? Oh. What am I doing? I'm not trying. It got clipped into the side there. It wasn't my fault. Uh. Oh, God. I took away half his health with that thing. I don't uh. even know. Was that a grandfather clock? I can't even remember now. That's a... Is that a that or a table or a dresser or something? Like, look at this. I hit him and it's like two, three, three, two... It's like, Two. princesses hit me and I laugh. And then I hit him with a chair. Six. It's like, wait, what? Oh, and a level up. There you go. Just as I sliced his fat body. Look, uh, can't jump. It's his ability. You can't jump, but people die. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he probably hits for more damage. Um, now, when you throw these, 
Oh, as you can see, a little piece of fire comes out. I'm not sure if that was his or mine, because I know it splits out from both sides. Mm-hmm. And, oh, God, um, I just noticed that I'm at 8 of 26 health. I'm not very healthy right now. And screw you, Skelton. <laughs> that combo, though. Yeah. I need a fries and a drink with that. Do you? Um, yeah. I think they charge for that. Yeah, usually, but it's usually bundled up, right? Like 65 cents for drink and fries. It's, it's all good. I don't know. What? I think they just want you to take Oh, it. of course. Of course. While, while I'm recording a text message, would have to start. Okay. Uh, well, that can vibrate on my... Crotch. I know that sounds weird hey, to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know. You just <laughs> calm down. It's Come not like on, I, I'm man. I'm doing it on purpose or something. What would you rather? I just leave it by the microphone and it just go. I would open up the door and set it in there. <laughs> See, isn't that better? That's so much better. Probably. Uh, you could have taken that time right there. You weren't even doing nothing. For all I know, that's what you did. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these platforms are such trolls. Oh, uh, no. The bats are the trolls here. Look at this. They're like, I didn't even have time. Just get out of here. I don't know, man. I don't think she should be able to jump as high as she does. Those boobs well got to weigh her down. Not really. I mean, her clothing isn't armor, it's just a dress. Yeah, be the only thing weighing her down is her boobs. Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Sounds like someone's jealous of boob weigh downage. I don't oh! <laughs> that skeleton, or that uh, zombie just, like, morphed through the, the platform there. That's bullplop. They're so cheaty. Ah! And he came to life in my hands! That's bullplop again! I'm... Wow, that zombie... I'm Ooh, no. I'm going to kill the zombie and then throw his bloody corpse at this big dude. Mm. Now, here's Whoa. something I got to wonder is if you can get experience every time you kill a zombie because they come back. Um, that is a good question. But see, when you throw their bodies, then um, they'll, they'll explode into blood immediately. Now, I know what you mean. If I just hit them with my sword, knock them down, and just keep doing it, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a question of questions. It is a question of questions. Not for this play, though. Okay. Okay. Here's some skeletons, I guess. And Why wait a miss. Why do skeletons? I don't understand. What's that? They just... You hit the switch and they're like, No! There will be retribution for hitting that switch. Exactly. You can't just hit oh, the switch. That was probably bad. I should have took out the arrow dude a bit. Is he going to rain down some arrows on you? Probably while I'm here on the other side, like a bag of douches, or a, a bag for a douche. Not a stew douche session. canoe? Oh god, stew in his douche canoe. <laughs> Look at god. those four freaking bats! Oh, I know, it, it's, it's bullplot. Look at that, another one, another Why? one. And I missed. Oh, but I managed to jump over his butt. Why would Bounce. you? Yeah, oh. we get that. Why would I what, jump over his butt? Yeah. What would you want me to do? Stay by his butt? Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, what? It's probably safe if you stay behind him. I've learned from Dark Souls that you want to sneak up on an enemy and backstab them. Damn it, he turned around just in time for me not to be able to throw something at him. And then you kill them as they're trying to get up. If they survive the backstab. Oh, I know what you're saying. You've been watching Dark Souls 3. And one... And playing one. I've been trying to... I was going to play one and two, but um, apparently I don't have them. I thought for sure I bought those, but apparently I didn't. So now I'm I'm, up, I'm kind of upset about it. Aw. I thought for sure I bought the codes for those on Steam like a while back now. Nope. No such thing, apparently. I've got my first run almost done in Dark Souls 1. Uh, recorded, and then I'm going to start a second run soon. And uh, I'm taking all the souls, and I'm getting the fuck out. So I'm not leveling up. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna have like a billion souls at the end of the game. Hmm. Well, there's a story, um, and the story is is that you link the fires for the world to survive. 
unfortunately. Oh, okay. I gotta spoil that for you because the story is so old. No! Um, <laughs> Don't go ruin it anymore because I want to play it too, butthole. And basically what I'm doing is I'm saying, no, I'm not going to do what you want me to. I'm going to take all these souls and I'm going to make a world where people don't have to fight when they can't go to the other side. Hmm. So I'm making my own story because, you know, uh, the game gives me an opportunity to do something unique like that. I got to take it. But, Sweet. uh, it, this game reminds me of that because there's so many skeletons and zombies. Look at painting. They're naked. Mm -hmm. That man is casting off his clothing. Indeed. Now we have our first boss. And, and with the table. Oh God! Why? Why would you put a head on some legs? Why not? I just love the music in this. The boss then music you gave is it a badass. Horn. Oh, you didn't get to use the table on it. And dodging arrows. Woo! Look at all those arrows. It's just like bleh, bleh. Uh -oh. It throws them up into the sky. Well, don't you step on me. Uh, oh, come on! Oh, Stefan almost had that one. I was rooting for him silently. You were tooting for me silently. Hey, silent but violent. <laughs> silent but deadly. That's what people That's say. It. I say silent but violent because it rhymes. Okay. I'm gonna throw clock at you, missus. Oh, right on the foots. Right My on the tootsies. are the ones that are silent and don't smell. Because then it's like it never happened. It don't smell. <laughs> There's no such thing as farts that don't smell. They come out of your ass. <laughs> How do they not smell? It's it's air that passes through your ass. Like there's no way it doesn't have a smell. Ah, uh, clearly you don't have the awesome part. <laughs> clearly, well, Seath has an amazing uh, way to fart that doesn't have any smell to it, apparently. Oh, uh, the oh. stories we tell while Stefan kills legs in the head. And, and now it's dead. Mmm! So, I'm gonna wrap up this episode right here before we start the next, uh, the next one. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let us know that you want to see more of this. And I guess, uh, well, I'll, I'll see you all next time for more Amazing Princess Sarah. Bye, everybody. See ya.